Good morning, and the wee hours of Saturday morning when everybody is sleeping. I'm still up washing my clothes and my daughter's clothes, okay, so I can have my Saturday free. All right, it's 2.42 a.m., and this will be my last video, so thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. And again, continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, like my videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and my videos. Hey, 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 my video. Subscribe, like, and share my video. Hey, 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 like, and share, and subscribe. Oh, my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. Okay, but what we're going to say... Whoa, who? Mm -mm -mm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing besides me. Hey, whoa, who? Mm -mm -mm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Subscribe to me. Hey, we go on with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, Celebrity Insider brought it to us. Yes. Hey, like a meal being brought to you from. Some of it entity. Okay? That's why I'm going with it. Whoa. Mm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Subscribe to me. Yes. This is the beef that has been going on between Nene and Cynthia. Yes. Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes. The battle has been going on for at least two months. And they're saying, peace treaty. Both of them are throwing the white flags up. They said, I think we don't beat enough. It can come to an end. Yes, honey. Celebrity insider Ashley Mitchell down there doing her thing. Correspondent, journalist, whomever she is. She's employed by uh, Celebrity Insiders. And they're giving us their gossip, their entertainment news, their salacious stories on these reality stars. And I'm giving you the how, what, we, and where, okay, on celebrity in the entertainment division of living. Okay, let's get on into it. We won't tear it too long because I'm tired. And like I said, it's going to be my long, my last video, okay? She gives us uh, a title for her article. Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes are confident they can make peace after beefing for months. Well, I guess you can. This is my sidebar, not in her article title. It's a fake beef. Of course you can. Retally up at any time and go back in on that person. Because you know that's what Nene does. She forgives. Not really. Not, not, not nasty. She forgives. Again, not really. And she goes in, play the part, and then when she gets tired and she wants to make more drama, she starts more beef. Okay, she stirs the pot and sifts out the shit. Okay, all right, I'm just giving it to you how I see it, how I see it, okay? The stories may be true that I report, and then again, they may not be, but they could be. I always keep that in thought when you're commenting in those comments down there, okay? But we go on into the article. It says, as fans of the Real Housewives of Atlanta know already, Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes haven't been on good terms since last season's reunion episode. However, it sounds like they are not against bearing the hatchet. No, they were over at Cynthia Bailey's little uh, winery uh, event hall, and they were arguing. They were taping. So I'm hoping Cynthia is getting paid for that taping, okay, since it is on her premises which she owns and operates, okay? Is that event planning, that warehouse she constructed into little separate compartments where she can lease out space for events? Okay, yeah, go see Cynthia Bailey for that. That's free promotion. All right. But anyway, um, they had that little film in there. Of course, you know, they had their site, the drama and everything. At first, they brought out the story. They didn't say where it was. But then another follow-up story a couple of days after that or maybe a week or so, they had said it was over at Cynthia Bailey's Cellar Winery uh, event hall. Okay, so I'm like, okay, all for the cameras. Lights, camera, action. Let's get my best shot. Let's get my best side, okay? Roll the camera. All right, but anyway. We go back to the article. It says the two housewives are open to making peace and becoming pals with a different dynamic. I can't, I'm like, what are y'all going to do? You're going to bring Mike Hill and Greg Leakes in for a conversation and y'all just make y'all little women's chit chat over there in the corner. 
Nah, that didn't work out too well with your other colleagues, Nene, when you got them together. Okay, just saying. I'm just saying. Going back to the commentary, it says, in other words, they are reportedly trying to find a way to be close again, but make some changes in their relationship at the same time. Ah, um, my sidebar. So you're saying, Nene, you got to make this friendship contract again, but it has to favor you. <laughs> you get to dictate. You get to call the shots. And Cynthia is just supposed to fall suit. Cynthia, before you sign that friendship contract, let my kill uh, look it over. Okay, so he can tell you. Because evidently, you're not good at reading the fine print at all. Okay? Going back to the article, it said... Uh, Cynthia is optimistic for a friendship with Nene, but it will be a different dynamic than what it was before. It is hard to see that they would ever have a kind of friendship like they used to once again. Nene is optimistic as well, but sees there's a lot, sees there are lots of changes. She is not sure if she can trust Cynthia again. And once you break her trust, it's hard to move forward with her one source is tell Hollywood life. Now, my sidebar intended, Nene, please, please stop the foolish, fake, fraudulent acti activities going over in your brain. If you forgave Greg for cheating on you or you have had other unreported issues where people lied, tried to destroy you, and you gave them a second chance, why not give Cynthia? I mean, come on. What has Cynthia really done? You have said in the past, she's sneaky behind them closed doors. But hell, Nina, you sneaking behind the closed doors and in front of us. So can we trust you? Can we trust you, Nene? Okay, that's a spade calling another spade. That's a pot calling to get a black. That's throwing the uh, baby out with the bad water. Come on, Nene. Let's get it together. If I can see, see if you can you see. Finally, do you have the real prescription glasses on? Can you see? Check with Mike. He can tour you in or what's real and what's fake and fraudulent, baby girl. He's supposed to be your better half. Or is that a storyline to be played out? And discard it once season 12 is over with. Let me know that a sister knows so I can let the people know. So I can let the people know. Going back to the article. We have, uh, they went on to add that both Cynthia and Nene feel they're trying to get to a better place. But they are having trouble seeing others' point of view. Okay, having said that, things are getting better. They are taking some steps to get there and are putting in effort. Now y'all ain't putting in no work. Y'all putting in a storyline for us to buy, okay? You want us to take part of it, eat it, digest it. But some of us, like myself, have to call a, a flag on the play, regurgitate it up, and spit it out, and go about my business until the next episode, okay? My side boy, going back to the article, okay? Um, that being said, okay, this comes after Nene and Cynthia were caught on camera having a heated argument while at a restaurant filming for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, that wasn't no restaurant. That was, like I said, uh, Cynthia Bailey's wine and replace. Okay, going back to the article said, that being said, the chances of reconciliation have faded a bit, especially since it looked like their intentions was to make peace when they met, but things still got explosive in the end. The source insisted that they both wanted to meet and have a talk. And at this point in time, they are still trying to understand the one. Uh, well, they were trying to understand one another's opinion. What the article is trying to say. Now, the question is posed to you, myself, and I. <laughs> okay, do you think they will be friends again, or will all their attempts to end the feud continue failing? My pun intended, my sidebar, my opinionated opinion on this subject. Hell no. No, no. They're going to keep beefing for dollars, okay? Keep getting clicks, views, people buying their products and, and, and hoping and wishing they come back and get them a rave review. So when they sit down with their true entertainment employer and they can say, okay, let's look at what I brought to the table for this season and see how I can elevate my pay raise, okay, my paycheck, my dollars, okay, to keep me well in tune, well informed into the custom of what I'm right now living in, okay, bravo, what can you do for me, true entertainment, I gave, I delivered, now, put some money on the table, bro, female, bossy, Whatever you want to call yourself, put the money where your mouth is. All right. That's what I got from this commentary and the review of the whole Housewives franchise. All right. 
live and let live, okay? Be very savvy and well in tune and do your due diligence when it's coming to signing those contracts, okay? Don't sell your whole soul away. Don't sell your whole life away just to get some click and views and some coins and to be able to call yourself a reality TV star. All of it's not worth it, people. All of it's not worth it. These reality shows can bring so much damage to your lives. You know what I'm saying? You end up married one day, you wake up the next day, you're divorced. And you're trying to figure out how it all went, where it went wrong at. How, how did I miss the, the, the um the signs and the signals? What's going on? Because all that glamour, glitz, and fame ain't what it is, okay? It ain't what it is. Those who can see the forest for the trees, you know what I'm talking about? Thank you. But again, this is going to conclude my video on the Real Housewives of Atlanta on whether we think it's going to be a continued beef. Hey, non-continued beef don't bring the money in. Beefing brings the money in. Okay? So, of course, you know they're going to press how they say on the gas in these YouTube streets and they're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Okay? Because that's what they do. That's how they get down. That's the way they make their money. All right, but y'all be blessed. I will see y'all next video. Don't know when I'm going to come in on Saturday when everybody's up and, and raring to go and out in the she, uh, streets, coming and going, doing their normal thing they do on the weekend. I can't tell you when I'm coming back to the tube on Saturday, but I can't tell you I'm coming back. You know I am. You know I am, okay? But in the meantime, in between time, Hit that like button, subscribe to me, hit that bell for notifications for upcoming videos. So when I download, y'all will know it's time to go over to the Deb Chanel Sport Expert and get clued in and well versed on what's going out there in those entertainment, reality, TV show celebrity ships, okay? Or just with the actress and actresses that are well known in the film industry. Oh, because I got the tea and I'm ready to be with you dishing it out. All right. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. And oh, forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for all your entertainment celebrity news. Good night. Bye-bye.